good. So I actually want to take you back a couple of steps to what you mentioned there about bots and AI. That's one of the really interesting points, I think, of this discussion. And do they have the potential to alienate customers and dehumanize customer experience, or um, are they going to augment it and, and assist in that? Yeah, it, it, it's a good question. And, um, you know, let me give the analogy here about the IVR, right? It's sort of for many people, the IVR is the bad face of what were call centers and, and now contact centers. But you can take a great piece of technology and implement it badly. You can take a great piece of technology and implement it not with the customer first in mind, but your own business objectives in mind. And I think many examples of the IVR have followed that. Chatbots, artificial intelligence, and the next sort of technology wave coming through around experience, I think have huge upside. Um, but it only if designed in the right way with the customer in mind. The, the, the Genesis um, philosophy and where we're investing in our products um, in this space is really about um, augmented AI. And so, again, it's consistent with the omnichannel experience. It's consistent with the B2B philosophy that, yes, there are great um, customer benefits and a business case based around chatbots and, and AI. But what do you do if that interaction fails? How do you then get a conclusion to your customer service query or, or your, your sales interaction? And so, again, we see the need to have this um, integration ac across the channels, and we're calling that um, augmented AI. So it's, again, great piece of technology, but shouldn't be siloed. It needs to be part of, of that B2B to C des design philosophy through augmented AI. Absolutely. Helmut, what's your take on AI then? Is it, is it the future or does it risk alienation? Uh, well, our view in Orange is that it's not a question of either or. We strongly believe in digital with a human touch. So what we are saying is it's a blend of, of both. And we believe that all AI is there already. You, you said it in our view as well correctly. It's, it's starting. It will start from the back office, if I may call it like this, and slowly maybe via chatbots also come to the front office as an interface. Will it replace the other forms of interaction that we have physically or, or calls, etc.? We do not believe it will complement uh, these avenues. I believe it depends also on the positioning of the customer who is opting for that uh, option. If you have a, a specific mass market, one service only standardized product in terms of questions and so on, with the right AI, you can actually produce such a service. If you say I'm a premium brand um, and I want to serve very diverse uh, customer segments, then probably in the beginning it's very hard. It can only be there for the routine stuff. Um, but again, it's a customer decision. We believe it's going to be complementary because we strongly believe in this digital with a human touch topic. So to maybe to build, build on that, just to sort of give, give an example, which is if you know you design the uh, you described it digital with a human touch, with which is a, um, a great way to describe it. If the you know, a, a company invests in artificial intelligence, for example, then if they think about in the concepts of customer experience, how could that aid first contact resolution, right? Because as a consumer, if I interact with someone, that's really what I'm after, mm -hmm. is that first contact resolution. So I, I do think these technologies have a very significant role to play in improving first contact resolution. And recently with Genesis, um, We've piloting and uh, introducing a concept called predictive routing, um, which is where you immediately get into the contact center. I think we all understand what routing is, but it's using artificial intelligence to inform better routing decisions. And where we have implemented that, and it comes on to the, the business case and customer experience, we're seeing very significant improvements in first contact resolution and average handle time. And so just, and a very direct correlation with an improvement in net promoter score. So I give that just as an example. It's not about, you know, a chat bot or something which looks kind of very innovative, but you're thinking, wh what do I do with it? But there's an example of artificial intelligence really directly um, improving tangible business results. Absolutely. It, it will make 
our approach smarter for sure than that. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So it's lighter touch rather than the heavy hand. Smarter touch. Smarter touch. I like that. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. I'd like to close by thanking our panel of experts, Jerry Brown from IDC, Mark Turner from Genesis, and Helmut Reisinger from Orange Business Services. Now, customer experience is an evolving and fast-moving topic area. I really hope that this, uh, this time today has helped you and given you some good ideas that you can take back to your business. You can also click the links below this video to go through to the Genesis or OBS websites. You can also go through to their relevant YouTube channels where they'll give you some extra content as well. So my name is Miles Dawson from IDC. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.